Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is me reacting to Sims 4 packs that other people want. I found three different websites to show you guys. The first one is from Walt Culture or whatculture.com slash gaming slash the Sims 4. Um, and it will be showing 10 uh, expansion packs that fans really want. Um, and I'll be giving you guys my point on each of them, whether or not I agree or not. So... And what aspects of it I really like and what I may not. So, the first one they have on the list here is number 10. And it says the Time Traveling Expansion Pack. Um, it sounds intriguing. It really does. I just don't know how well they would do it. Um, but I really like the concept. I was reading briefly. Like, it says you could live back in the olden times. Maybe even live in a cave. And have to hunt for your own food. But you could also travel to the future as well and have flying jet packs and um, meet your descendants, ride hoverboards, and etc. Um, quite a lot of stuff that they could really put into this. And I think it would be quite interesting to be able to go back in time and potentially make a descendant of... Your Sim now, one of their ancestors, it'd be kind of interesting as well. So, that one I really agree with. I think it'd be kind of fun to explore that. And so, let's go ahead and move on to the next one the Apocalypse Expansion Pack. Zombies will be taking over your Sim world, and other Sims will need to learn how to defeat them and survive the post apocalyptic world. I really like this concept. I The only thing I really wouldn't like about it is that if they would have all the zombies like going around constantly biting all these people that aren't even really going to be a part of a zombie series. So you'd potentially have to do different live or different save files in order to get it to work. And I really don't want to have to focus on it on some, uh, some of my sim things. So... If they have a workaround where you don't have to have the apocalypse um, happen in some of them. But it, it does sound like a interesting topic. I just, in some cases, I really don't know um, how I feel about it because... If you don't want to do the zombie apocalypse thing, you might just want it for clothes and all that. Are you going to be forced to do it? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. I have mixed emotions, definitely. The Sims 4 Globetrotting, um, which is very similar to The Sims 3 World Avengers. It says, your Sim will be able to travel the world, but with an addition of working aboard or living aboard. Uh, that'd be kind of interesting, actually. Like, you'd be able to go to different sim, like, places. Maybe they could add a few new worlds to this app, uh, this. I could see, maybe they can have, like, um, three or four different new worlds that you could go and actually live in. But, it'll be a different from all the other worlds that they currently have. It would have to be a massive expansion, though, like they said there. Um, I just don't know... If they would do it, it would see really interesting, though. It would. Um, you would also be able to teach uh, other kids uh, different languages as well. Kind of interesting. Would be an interesting topic as well, like they said. Um, you could also potentially live on a boat. So that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, and development of the game. I don't know how they would do it. But it would be kind of an interesting topic. And I, I think I really would get behind this one. I really think I do. Okay, the next one is Underwater Life Expansion Pack. So, I don't know how this would work, honestly. But I think it would work really well with... If you have a mermaid sim. Like, maybe if you're a mermaid, you could live underwater. Or you could actually go underwater and explore... Uh, like Atlantis, it'd be kind of interesting, like they said, the Lost Empire as well, and maybe even meet the official Little Mermaid, I don't know if 
They would have to work with Disney and all that to do that, though, but it'd be kind of interesting. If you play as a mermaid, you could discover new items that have dropped into the ocean. Train dolphins, which I think you can do that now, so... And sharks as your pets, hunting for food and fishing spears. And if you play as an Atlantic native, you'll have different magical abilities as well. So, they, it looks like you'll be a new aspiration, potentially, um, with your mermaid. Uh, you can have, be an Atlantic native to where... You could actually live in Atlantis and all that. I think it'd be kind of an interesting topic, like an interesting thing to do. Um, I don't know. I think I agree with this one. I think it'd be kind of interesting. I just don't know how they would make it work. But I think it'd be a very beautiful world and a very beautiful concept. And especially if you're a mermaid, maybe they can introduce some new um, type of... Uh, uh, yeah, whatever they call it, a cult that would be able to live underwater as well. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one, it says Healthy Lifestyle Expansion Pack. Your Sims can take on the challenges of a new and improved healthy lifestyle. Um, they kind of have veganism in the game. They already have vegetarian in the game. I just kind of think that... Um, it'd be kind of interesting, like, uh, they said that you could have more, uh, vegan-based or, uh, vegetarian-based meals and stuff in the game, that'd be interesting, you could join a wellness group as well, go hiking or go to boot camp, etc. Uh, I don't know about boot camp, I don't know how I, how I feel about that, like, it kind of seemed like you'd be sending your sim to, like, lose weight, and I don't agree with that, like, I, I believe that God intended you to be who you are for a reason, so I don't agree with that, but I could see in some people's point of that, um, you might have a sim that struggles with that, so maybe in some cases I can agree with it, in some cases I don't, but I do like the concept of healthy living, and also like the concept of being potentially a dietitian, a wellness coach, or a personal trainer. That would be an interesting job settles. Um, they could also add things like kettlebells, weights, and scales. Um, that would be quite interesting. They could also include aerobic classing because we already got dancing in there. But we got aerobic classes as well into the mix. That would be kind of interesting. I got to say so myself. So, I, in some aspects of this one, I really agree with. Some of them, I don't. Mainly the boot camp thing, I don't agree with. Um, but I could see maybe going hiking and going to a wellness program. I just don't see boot camp really working. I think it's just a little bit too much. But we'll go ahead and move on. This is called Big City Life Expansion Pack. They already kind of have a city expansion pack. But... I want to hear them out and see what they say, um, because this doesn't really look too much like a city, honestly, but Sims would be able to live the apartment life, which we already have apartments in the game, but it would be a crowded city, like New York City. Interesting. I really agree with that. Like, really interesting. Like, imagine having, like, New York City in the game. That'd be really neat, because the city that they have right now, uh, isn't really full. Like, it doesn't feel like a New York City type. This would be a yellow, big yellow taxis, a new celebrity-themed redemption system. Now, there's already celebrities in the game, so I don't know how that's going to work. But, I could definitely see them working down the TV personality thing. Um, and, like, a film director and, and all that. That would be kind of interesting. But, Maybe instead of, since they already have like that, maybe they could become like a model or a uh, clothing uh, person. Like, a, what are they called? Um, people that design, like a designer. Yeah, that would be kind of interesting. I really agree with this. Like, maybe they could open up their own designer clothing store. Um, and... 
be living in apartments and stuff like that. I don't understand uh, the whole concept because the apartments are already out, but I can understand having a different city, maybe. Um, and maybe we can have, like, penthouse, like a hotel. That'd be kind of interesting. Uh, maybe we could endorse hotels under this. That'd be kind of interesting. That's something I really want. Moving on, though. So, the next one is Paranormal Expansion Pack. Now, they do have some paranormal things, like Ghost, and that already a part of the game. But, I could see... Adding other things like a, maybe a, a vamp, uh, w eh. adding a werewolf into the game would be kind of interesting as well. Maybe even like a ghost hunting career or a hunter career would be kind of interesting, kind of like supernatural. Um, this TV series, um, they already kind of have magical beings and stuff like that in it, so. That really wouldn't work. Maybe they could get accepted into like Hogwarts, but their own Sims version of it. Um, have their own different um, like new pets added to the game. I don't know. Like it, it, it seems like an interesting co concept. It really does, and I would be all behind it because I love supernatural stuff. But I just don't know how they would work with it because. They do have some of this aspects into the game. Maybe they can bring in werewolves, pixies, and fairies that you could be. Um, and introduce new schools and new, like, careers and stuff with it. I can definitely get behind that. But they do already have, um, potions and spells and wizards and stuff like that in the game. So I don't know how they would do it besides that. Okay, the next one is Domesticated... Our domestic bliss expansion pack. Homebody Sims will enjoy this one a lot for freedom at home with their family. So definitely, I already like the sound of that because we definitely need more stuff that you could do at home. Um, it would be interesting to have pets and toddlers that would be able to have after school activities. Yes, they have some after school activities like scouts and... Um, some kids can get a career, but it'd be kind of interesting to have them go to, like, a play group or something like that. It'd be really interesting. You'd be able to have sleepovers? Yes. Oh, my God, yes. I think that's something that is drastically missing from the game currently, and I would love to see that in implicated. Pets can interact with toddlers more uh, themselves. So, yes, I think pets should be able to interact with toddlers mainly because the only thing that toddlers and pets can do currently is in, the toddler will Im imitate the pets. And granted, it's cute, but I think that they should be able to do a little bit more than that. Events would be added that families can join together like barbecues or family reunions. Definitely, because if it wasn't... For me, in my game, I had to literally add a family uh, reunion. And the family tree in interference would return among ho hobbies and favorites. That's interesting. Um, so this is definitely one I could get behind. I don't know if there would be a new world with this one. Maybe they could have like um, a new career added to this one. Like a party planner or something like that. Kind of interesting, but I think... Or maybe they could have a career where you are like a foster parent or like a foster parent and get money that way. be kind of interesting. So go ahead and move on. Okay, so the next one is the Outer Space Expansion Pack or the Space or Sci-Fi themed Expansion Pack where Simmers can either play as an alien or a robot with a Star Wars theme and inspiration. So we already have an alien in the game. But this would just add them to add more concept to the thing. Playing as a robot would be interesting as well. And a Star Wars themed inspiration. Really interesting as well. Because they already have a lot of Star Wars based stuff in the game. Like they already have um, Yoda costumes and all that. And they even have a baby Yoda. Um, you could even explore space. Which you can do now with um, Sixum. It's the alien planet. 
However, I think you should be able to actually, like, go and live there if you're an alien. Um, or maybe if you're in a scientist career or just want to live there, you can in be interested in it. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of interesting to have families that can actually live there. And it would give aliens more of a concept in the game than they currently have. Um, there's also new careers that could be interesting, like Jedi Knights or a vessel for the dark side of the Force. So that's interesting as well. We'll be bringing in some more concept of Star Wars and Space Farmers would be interesting as well. I don't know, anything else spacey, but it'd be kind of really interesting. Okay, the final one on the first website is the Fairy Tales Expansion Pack. It sounds interesting. That will be based on different fairy tales upon generations, like Little Red Riding Hood, The Sleeping Beauty, or even Once Upon a Time or Game of Thrones. It could include unicorns and fairies. Interesting. Interesting already. We uh, be based on the woods where Sims would live in old-fashioned cottages. And instead of burglar Sims, we could have weary wolves or giants that could come and you could buy magical beans and talk to gingerbread men. I mean, if that's your thing, interesting. I kind of like the concept. It sounds pretty interesting so far. Careers would be like a baker. Interesting because we do have a cook, but we don't, and that could go into a mixologist, but we don't actually have a baker career. A hand, a handmaiden or a knight. Interesting. You'd be able to ride horses and own horses would be great. Um, train or fight dragons. Quite interesting. And become king. So it'd be kind of interesting. Like it would really be interesting concept. And I think I would get behind it. Honestly, I think that there's nothing wrong with this pack. And I really would see myself really getting excited should the Sims team actually come out about this pack now let's go ahead on over to our second website now we have three websites in total this is our second one okay so the next one is a similarly newer one um and this was updated on march 5th of 2019 by Brittany brown um and it's from live uh, levelskip.com slash stimulators slash sims for expansion pack ideas so here is 10 more sim pack ideas, which let's go ahead and get started now. To the zoo. So I've already said about I've wanted zoo uh, stuff in the game. Let's just see what they say. But I would love to have zoo uh, animals in the game. Maybe they could bring in a zookeeper and stuff like that. Um... Never had zoos in it, and it is surely missed feature in the game. In opinion, a zoo game pack would add a new zoo venue for Sims to visit, and that'd be interesting right there to be able to visit a zoo, to be able to build your own zoo from scratch, and ton of zoo animals to interact with like lions, terrors, tigers, and bears, oh my, as well as new zoo uh New zoologist and zookeeper careers will be kind of interesting, and skills where you can tame and train zoos at the uh, animals at the zoo. The zoologist career can also be an open career where you can give tours to visiting to visiting sims, check on animals, feed animals, and put escaped animals back in their cages. Of course, animals will have to escape from their enclosures in time before. Hey, it's the sims so you never know um i really like the concept it really really appeals to me i have been saying this in every pretty much every one of my sim pack ideas and i'm hoping that they get that they eventually add the zoo in there i really really want it i agree with this post as well everything on here sounds like a perfect thing Maybe they can even add a new world, like, um, like similar to like a deserty area or something like that, that would really appeal with the zoo. 
um, so going ahead and moving on, get farming. So interesting concept as well. I've said about this before as well. Fans have been asking developers for official farming pack for a long time, but the ideas have a fully expanded farm in the Sims and being able to appeal to Stardew Valley would be interesting as another game uh, Stardew Valley is. And I think it'd be kind of interesting to have that concept in the Sims, being able to be a farmer and all that would be really, really intriguing. Um, the game currently has different abilities that would be interesting. Oh, that was my bad. Hang on a second. As well as being able to um, interact with crops and stuff. And also produce goods like cheese, wine, and mayonnaise, and wool. Having different pets like sheep, pigs, and the return of horses, as well as chickens. And all around, this looks like an interesting pack. And I would automatically get behind it because I've wanted farming as well myself. Amusement parks. I believe I said about this one before as well. But amusement parks and being able to own your own amusement park and build your own amusement park in The Sims would be kind of interesting in my book. And they're saying that it would be kind of interesting to them as well. And maybe it could be a vacation lo a lot. Um... Interesting, and they're saying you can play carnival or carnival games, eat junk food, win tokens and prizes, water slides, and etc. Roller coasters. I think it'd be interesting. Like, I really like the concept. It seems quite intriguing, and I think that they should definitely bring it in. Okay, go to school pack. So they already have university. So I don't know if that's what this is going to be about. But being able to university expansion back since the day of Sims 2. But never had the ability to follow your school children to school. That right there is what I would like about this. You'd be able to actually go to school with your uh, younger children as well. If you choose to. Um, Prom is another thing that I would like about this with your teens to attend. Um, and children will get summer break. That's interesting as well because they currently don't have that in the game. You can homeschool your children as well. Yes, 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 already. Speaking and teaching the new career of teaching. They already have a new career of teaching in the game. But they could add... Something different, like maybe, I don't know, something else school-related, like a secretary or an, a school nurse. I don't know. Maybe something like that that would be interesting. The Get Married expansion pack. Granted, you can get married in The Sims now, but I think they should be able to be able to plan weddings more appealingly, like picking themes like rustic, vintage, casual, garden, gothic, and even choose your wedding party and invite other sims to be bridesmaids, groomsmen, flower girls, and ring bearers. Plan invites or plan a menu for a reception and choose the variety of of wedding cakes. You can select colors for your wedding cake to wear or you could choose specific outfits and course your Bachelor and bachelorette parties as well will be making a return. Finally, they would include a new career of a wedding planner. That's really intriguing. Everything that I've said so far is really intriguing. And I agree because you need more stuff and more development in the marriage um, and the weddings. I think it'd be kind of interesting. It's up to you to meet your Sims new meet to a newly engaged Sim in the neighborhood and help them plan their wedding suggest themes invite the guests and decorate the venue when the wedding day comes it's up to you to run around and keep the guests happy by mingling and checking the on the bride and groom so interesting i love it i love it i love it and i really agree with it because they need more concepts like this for weddings and i definitely would see 
them potentially doing this. Behind the wheel, pretty much cars, pretty much cars will allow you to buy a car, learn how to drive, and increase the car's driving skill, um, and teach your kids how to car to drive, and it will introduce a mechanics career. Um, I think it'd be quite interesting. I really do. I really like the concept. Maybe you could even become a driving instructor. Um, and that will be really interesting. I really, really, really like the person. Maybe you can also become a car salesperson as well. I've seen them mention about that as well. I think that it's quite interesting. I don't know if The Sims will ever put cars in. But I'm not asking for, like, being able to drive specifically. Maybe, like, you can get a wormhole. Um, but... I don't, I don't ever really see this happening, but I really like the idea. Okay, so the next ones I already said about, which was space and traveling. So seniors is the next one I'm going to do. And seniors pack would pretty much open up more to do with, with seniors, uh, more elders in the game. And instead of just waiting for the elder sims to pass on, this will give them new activities to do. Such as, or such as being able to introduce things like walking sticks and frames and hearing aids. Elder Sims can throw retirement parties and invite other, or their friends and family over. They can also plan out their will and pick who their simoleons and assets go to when they sadly pass away. They can also have a new bingo machine object which can be either used at home or at a new retirement home venue. Interesting. Interesting idea there with the retirement home. Um, and that will open up a new career of like a worker at a home, like a CNA or something like that. I really like that concept. I think it's quite interesting and it gives that realism and I really like that. So go ahead and move on now. So superheroes and villains. A few years back, the Sims team spotted an idea about the players via survey on a potential upcoming content. It never came to be fruition, but a superhero and supervillain game pack isn't a bad idea. I imagine it being a similar to the vampires. However, you could be kind of interesting and unlock new super powers, and you could have a villain alter ego at night. It'd be kind of interesting. Um, you could fight crime and do good, or you could be a villain. Well, technically, you could be a villain now, but, uh, I mean, like, a super villain, uh, I think it'd be an interesting concept. I don't know how they would do it, like, maybe they could bring in a, uh, world like Krypton, or something like that. Um, I think it'd be really interesting for people that like Marvel and DC fan, like they said. I'm a big fan of Marvel, um... So I think that I would really like this pack as well. But I don't know how well it, other people would like it. Okay, so our final website is The Sims 4 Abstract uh, Expansion Pack Ideas. But it's from simsvip.com. And I believe this was posted in 2018 in January on January 6th. So that's in interesting as well. But let's go ahead and move on down here. Good versus bad guys. We already kind of just talked about that with superheroes and that. So I'm not going to go too in depth with this one. But they could have a new career maybe. Uh, you can get caught by the police. Um, and all that. That's pretty much interesting. Reality game shows. So, expansion packs and game packs that pull Sims away from their regular everyday life for a, a while, like outdoor retreat, but a refreshing new pace to a game in how it allows you to or Sims to experience and learn how to deal with different environment. But what if that new environment is all about a game show like Survivor or Big Brother? I think that'd be kind of interesting. I really would. Being able to build up a social strategy to avoid being voted off a reality show and competing in competitions to obtain power would be something different that than you're used to in The Sims. 
Uh, I agree. Like, um, I don't know how they would make this work. Like, it seems like an interesting concept, and it seems like they already have challenges in that out that for the Sims. But I think it'd be kind of interesting, like being able to go and do this stuff and actually be a part of that in the Sims. I don't know if they will ever bring it in, but it does seem like an interesting concept. Um, survival. I think this is more so based behind, like, living in the wilderness and stuff like that, being homeless. I think that would be kind of interesting. Like, being homeless and all that would be really quite intriguing. Like, I don't know how they would do it in The Sims, but it would be kind of interesting way of doing things. And making sure you stay alive. In the netherworld, yes. Perhaps the saddest event that could happen in The Sims 4 is death. Either the Grim Reaper comes to collect your Sim soul, the Sim then becomes a ghost, and the ghost feels as if it through it is time and may choose to go live in the netherworld permanently, never to return. So what exactly is the netherworld? Is it all fun and games, or is... Grim, not exactly the best landlord to keep control of your soul. Seeing what the Sims team would make the Neverworld look like would be quite interesting as well, which I agree. Um, and be able to control the Sims would answer so many questions about dead Sims. It would be fascinating to have your Sims life after... Their first life is already over. Maybe the netherworld isn't as scary as the Grimm's outfit or the scythe may suggest. I agree. Like, I think you should be able to go with your sims to the... If you like that sim, go with them to the netherworld and play as them in the netherworld. I don't know. Like, they could introduce the netherworld, obviously, to the sims. You could live there. Um, maybe you could just have different things you have to do there. Like, I don't know. Maybe you could associate with other sims that have passed away. Um, and meet your ancestors and stuff. I think it'd be quite an interesting concept. And the only other, and the only other one they have was school life, which I skipped because we already talked about. But next video of the week will be two matches in WWE 2K20. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.